I'm interested in accelerating drug development and uh, I'm going to be presenting a topic related to point of care clinical testing and investigational trials and my thesis here is that it has a great application to patient care but it also has uh, very significant applications to investigational trials particularly in the area of accelerating proof of concept and proof of principle as well as possibly for value reimbursement. The tsunami in digital health care will come completely revolutionize clinical trials as we know them now. We know where we stand. We're in the front of this um, leading edge of how digital technology will take care of this, how, how it will change um, uh, clinical trial investigation, data reporting, and uh, as well as uh, probably value reimbursement, payer evaluation, and so on. So we're right, I think that's an important trend. There are chronic diseases uh, continue to grow in our country as well as uh, all over the world, and that's a, a very big issue. Um, uh, people are getting older. Uh, consumers are more involved in health care. Um, there is a mobile technology now that, uh, that um, can be accessed for purposes of diagnosis and treatment and information. And then of course uh, telehealth is going to also be a big issue as well. Medicare is now um, permitting telehealth uh, to occur in places where um, a remote access is hard for patients to get real care likely to be in um, advancement of technology and data collection and uh, data reporting and in quality assurance. I believe that that's going to be a place where a lot of uh, uh, cost effectiveness consolidation will occur. And it will, I think that this growth in the, in the digital health area is going to transform clinical trials as we know them. I don't think that there will be any change in regulation per se. Certainly, uh, the regulators are becoming more and more um, uh, outcome oriented for, uh, for clinical trial approvals. But what we're faced with right now is where, whether the clinical trials as we know them will continue to inform payer and value reimbursement because that's where their real developments will have to occur for our new drugs to be reimbursed. I think that the pharmaceutical industry is unique in the sense that it has a track record for doing challenging and difficult uh, things and uh, certainly the advancement of our healthcare technology as we know it today is due in part to uh, pharmaceutical and diagnostic companies who have funded and executed on some of these new, uh, these new areas. I think that will occur and I think that the drive to create new drugs, new therapies for unmet medical needs and to have them reimbursed um, will drive global health care.